بسم الله Every time I leave I'm catching homicides Bumping on my MP3, my MP5 Alright, cool Yep Yeah, we look decent, we're decent enough to do it <laughs> But yeah, alright, Asalaamu As Alaikum uh, Welcome to the Trap Shake Podcast uh, This podcast is sponsored by Human Appeal Big shout out to Human Appeal uh, if you click the link in my bio or go over to my Instagram and donate in the link there, you'll see a link for donating to support the people of Palestine. So if you want to help support the, the oppressed people in Palestine, go over there and donate as much or as little as you can. Um, everything is it goes to a good place. Um, again, the reason why I work with Human Appeal is because I know how roughly they operate and they... Um, I know that the the aid gets to where it needs to be, basically. Um, so yeah, so shout out to Human Appeal. Uh, but yeah, after today's episode, I'm gonna quite try and make it a short one because it's very simple what I want to say. So yesterday, I, I what was it? I I was with my friends and we, I said something. We know and sometimes you say something. But you don't really, you're not really aware of what you said until you said it. So you can't really even take, you know, sometimes when you're talking and you drop a gem, but like you didn't really drop it. Like it kind of just like, it just, it was just a flow and it just came out your mouth type of thing. Um, so yeah, so basically we was talking, it wasn't a gem, it was just something I said. <laughs> but, um, but basically, so we was going to go, where was we going to go? We was going to go out to eat. And <laughs> we was going to go out to eat. So this is about 4 p.m. We was hungry. And it was about 4 p.m. I said, no, let's <laughs> let's not eat now. Let's eat at about 6. And by the time we've finished, um, like, Maghrib will be in there. But we'll be out, so we'll go to the mosque and pray. And we all laughed. <laughs> well, we all laughed after I said, I said, that's probably the most Muslim thing I've ever said in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like and obviously I'm not saying it like because it was just <laughs> it was just the thing of me building my day or or verbalizing it anyway I've done it before but I've never verbalized it <laughs> of like me me building my day or building an action around the prayer now yet yesterday was a very good day and I'm not gonna say it was because of that decision, but it, it it really could be. Even today, I've done the same thing. I'm going gym later, but I'm going to go gym later. So when I finish gym and I showered, I can just go straight to the mosque and go pray my group. So, and again, I'm not saying this to be like, oh, guys, look at how pious I am. And one day you can be like me if you, <laughs> if you just keep watching the podcast and go gym. No, 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 it's not what I'm saying. Um, I'm just saying it because... Funnily, a lot, funnily enough, then later on, um, I gave advice to someone, and this v- advice, funnily enough, well, as I was saying the advice to this person, I was thinking, wow, like I really need to, to be listening to this, like taking, and not the, you know, sometimes you have this, <laughs> the, the people that say, oh, I'm telling myself this before I'm telling telling anyone else. And it kind of just seems like this fake piety, but I'm being, I'm trying to be sincere. Well, I genuinely mean it. I need it more than anyone else. I guarantee my cat's about to meow. I guarantee it. Within within this podcast, he'll meow. Okay, maybe not. But anyway, but um, but yeah, but then it just. It, I was talking to this guy, uh, this I think this young kid. I think he's from New York. Shout out New York. Um, but yeah, and I just. It, Again, it and it even came no because he didn't ask for advice. He didn't. It just kind of, it kind of just came out of me, and that's what I'm saying. It's like another time of like when I'm not really paying attention to what it is I'm doing. It kind of just flowed out. So again, you can't even take credit for it because it's like something, not something takes over, but like you kind of you're kind of watching yourself talk. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but sometimes you'll be talking to someone or you get into a flow in some state and again it can be in conversations people think about the flow and they think about um like just sports but the thing is you can get into a flow in almost any state like i've when i'm writing poetry i've got in the flow when i've had conversations i've got into the flow but it's not like oh yeah because of the work i did it's actually like 
almost like an out of body experience you literally feel like you're watching yourself do the thing and something's doing it for you and the best thing to do is just stay out of its way <laughs> but um which again i could go into a deeper topic but i won't i'll save that for another one i saved that a lot of things for another one i never get back to them. i need to go through i need to go through all the episodes i've done see what i've said oh, i'll save that for another episode and actually make those episodes <laughs> but yeah uh besides the point um but yeah no so the main the, the the advice i gave him and i said bro if, if i could give you one piece of advice and you know funnily enough i think he was he looks younger than me um and I, it literally just reminded me of myself and i was just saying you know what i'm gonna give the advice that i would have wanted back at that age um like if there was just like one piece you could tell yourself like maybe you could i'd love to give myself the blueprint of like yo do this do this pattern this this is how you move with di- these people and how you do i'd love to do that but the main thing and i, I guess I, it just summed it all up i said to him i said if i could give you one piece of advice I would tell you to build your life around the prayer and Allah will build a perfect life around you. And sometimes we, we're always trying to logically think about things or how am I going to do this? Or if I do this and if I make this deal and do that. And again, all the, although that is good, it is good to plan. It is good to tie your camel. In reality, it is Allah that makes all these decisions. So when you put him first, he will put you first. Obviously, with the the famous statement when it says, Allah, if you come to Allah walking, he comes to you running. If you come to him one step, he comes to you two steps. Again, there's this there's this idea of him again essentially um coming to you faster than you're going to him. And all but what it starts with, and this is what it always starts with, it always starts with your action. Whenever if you look at all the prophetic stories in life it was the prophets that had to do something first. Moses, when he split the sea, even though it was Allah that split the sea, Moses had to put his staff in the sea. When um, Noah, the flood before the flood came, before Allah sent the flood, Noah had to build the ark. There's a common theme here of doing an action before Allah kind of does his action even with I'm pre- I'm, I'm not if sure if it was the battle of Badr when Allah didn't send the aid of the angels until they were charging into battle imagine that it's not even oh yeah before they were like as they were like loading up like no like literally as like as they are charging into their what they would have thought their imminent death because they're like bro we have like 300 man here like what are we doing that was when Allah sent the aid. So is this is this common theme of you have to put the work in first before Allah returns the favor, and even in that you putting in the 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 illusion of the first step, Allah would have put the inspiration for you to even take the first step. So that's the beauty of everything um, always coming back to Allah. Um, but yeah, so I just said to him, I said, build your life around the prayer. Um, yeah, build your life around the prayer and you watch how your life just falls into place. And again, I'm not saying I'll oh, do it again, not like, oh, you do it first day and boom, it happens. It could happen, but I don't think that's the the best way of thinking about it. Because then now you're putting Allah on a timer. Like, oh, well, Allah, I prayed, uh, I prayed yesterday and the Ferrari was not outside the house the day after. So what, what's going on? What's going on? I made the du'as. I did the prayers. I prayed the tajud. I gave the charity. Like, don't put Allah on a timer. Don't put, um, again, let Allah reveal things and give things in his time because his timing is the best. And I can say that from my own life. Like, for example, there's been different times Allah has given and taken away from me, uh, whether it be financially, uh, people in my life or whatever. And, a lot of the times I've found, like, let's say when I'm down, like, let's say financially, like, I realize it's because I'm learning things within that down state. So when Allah raises me financially, I know how to act with it. I know how to be responsible with it. I always say Allah is not going to give you something um, to ruin yourself with. Um, and you shouldn't want that either. Like, again, if, if, if money is going to ruin you, if this woman's gonna ruin you, if this job's gonna ruin you, if this things, then don't, then why would you want these things? That's why you know it's the car. Like when we pray, 
and when we have um when we put things in Allah's hands basically it's like Allah you give me what's best for me because I don't know the future I don't know I don't even really know what it is I truly want or need because a lot of the time how many times do we say we want something or we need something we get that thing we realize oh it's not that do you know what I mean so sometimes it's like just, it's better to just put things in Allah's hands and say Allah what is it that you want me to do what is it what, what do you want me to have and just obviously you're going to get it anyway and then just move with it like that and just and go with the mindset of everything that you have right now in your life is everything that Allah wants you to have right now and everything that you need to have if you're in a low state financially don't look at it as like oh, I'm going to just be patient like obviously be patient but it's like no you need to be in that state right now 100% whether it be again right now it might it might not seem like that but you need to be in that low state because when Allah raises you if that is written for you when Allah raises you you will then know how to act when you are raised do you understand um hopefully I hope I, I, hope I made myself clear I, th I feel like I, I told I knew it I, where shut up all right I'll let you out all right so basically I'm Gotti's the one that's uh, calling this this episode short. But yeah, just a short reminder today. Um, back on it uh, soon. Um, got some big plans um, for the future. I'm still waiting to fix that the, the camera because it was a much better quality one. But I got to just fix that real quick. But yeah, big plans. We're always going to be progressing. Uh, this podcast is well, not podcast. This project I'm doing with Human Appeal is slowly coming to an end, which is sad. But again, we're going to carry it on. Um, uh, again, just. Just see for the future. There's big plans. There's big plans. There's big plans going on in this in this big brain of mine. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'll see you on the next episode. Assalamu alaikum. And make sure that you donate to the link in my bio on my Instagram or link below on this video and support the people of Palestine because that's what we do it for, man. That's what we do it for. All right, then. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Assalamu alaikum.